title match. You know, we've seen Lars Fredrickson talk to these two about wanting them to know each other better than they know themselves. They've been closely watching each other's matches, reviewing their tag matches, watching their singles matches, all of the chaos with Tasha Steeles a couple weeks ago. All that, he wants them to know each other inside and out. And what better way, I gotta give it to Lars, what better way than to lock horns? That's how you truly, truly know somebody. I agree with Lars' decision. However, we have seen very recently here how I... the ABC, Chris Bay and Ace Austin, there were tensions within the tag team. They went at it one-on-one. -on -one. Chris Bay defeated Ace Austin. They seem to have put their issues behind them. Will the same happen with Spitfire? Look, I, I was trying to stay positive, Tom, but if you're going to introduce the doubt, I'm going to jump on it. You're not... I know. I think it's a fair point to bring up, but it does, you know about tag teams. Oh, you absolutely... doesn't always go right. Look, at, at the end of the day, we've got a time limit here. We're going to see who's the best of the best out of these two. And so if we get a decision in that time limit, somebody's going to be the loser. I, I hate to put it that bluntly, but somebody in this tag team will be the loser. And they kind of have, you kind of have to live with that. You can shake hands, you can hug, you can say it's all good, but you got to kind of live in that shadow, even if it's in your own mind. Test of strength here. I can tell you that later on tonight, we will hear from the TNA Knockouts World Champion, Jordan Grace, who will be defending her championship at Slammiversary two weeks from Saturday, live on pay-per-view in TNA Plus in Montreal against Ash by Elegance, who is on vacation. It's called self-care, Tom. Uh, it's something you've probably never done based on how you look tonight. But some people who can afford that uh, like to actually take care of themselves, God forbid. Now, threat. Trying to control Danny Luna here. Two women who've competed against each other in the past. Ultimately, it was both of them participating in Ultimate X earlier this year at Hard to Kill in January that sparked them becoming a team. Here's the cover and a kick out by Threat. Danny Luna with a little extra intensity on, on everything tonight. I gotta give her credit there. You mentioned the matches with Tasha Steeles. It was Jody Threat got a little bit emotional during that matchup and lost to Steeles, and then Luna defeated Steeles. And um, could speculate maybe there's some animosity there. Luna able to catch Threat, maybe thinking about a fallaway slam, and Threat able to evade. Going around the rosy. Oh, Threat driving down Luna. Here's the cover and a kick out and. Uh, what the, uh, hold on, so, is something's happening backstage. Can we get our cameras back there? What the hell's going on backstage? Nick, where you at? Nick. Oh my God. What the, hey. Is that Nick hey. Nemeth? Hey, somebody get help. He is, hey. get out, Tom. Hey. What, the, what is going on? Who the hell attacked Nick Nemeth? What the hell is happening tonight? First Charlie Dempsey and now Nick Nemeth is down backstage? Oh, look, I, I don't want to assume oh, anything. Cover, cover, shoulders down and a kick out. Now we are leading in the weeks up to Slammiversary, one of the biggest shows we do every cover, year. Shoulders Tensions down, kick out by Luna. Are all over the place, Tom. Telling me. You all trying to focus on this 10 minute challenge. Threat and Luna, pretty even thus far in the fight. So far, so good. Again, talk about aspirations for potentially Slammiversary. These two want to get back to their Knockouts World Tag Team titles. This, this being the final test. Out of respect at the beginning of this matchup, maybe the tension starting to get to these two as well. As you know better than anybody, you step between those ropes, the competitor in you comes out. There, there's no more I'm sorry's, there's no more I love you's until the final bell rings. Count of four there by the official, telling Jody Threat to break it by five. Threat listens, Luna out of the corner, was we'll thinking about an exploder there. Luna dropping her weight, they're using her strength to counter Jody Threat here. And now Luna firing back on Threat. Both these members of Spitfire had been so evenly matched. 
And now Luna off of the ropes. Oh, went for the low clothesline there. Threat felt it coming. These two know each other very well. Threat connects with that one and a kick out by Luna. And I told you that was the goal of Lars Fredrickson to get these two on the same page, to get him to know each other as well as they know themselves. It's been a chaotic start to impact tonight. NXT's Charlie Dempsey jumping the match between Leon Slater and Trey Miguel, going after Zachary Wentz, an official of ours. Nick Nemeth taken out backstage, as we just saw moments ago, and this is a tag team battling each other. Again, all bets are off when you're closing in on those big, those marquee events, championships on the line, legacies on the line, at events like Slammiversary. Threat continuing to control Luna here down on the mat. Luna trying to create a little bit of separation here. Oh, and a big right hand there by Threat. Right to the midsection there. Threat with a pump kick. About seven minutes in now to this 10 minute challenge. Standard right. match rules apply. You can win via pinfall, submission, count out, or disqualification. Have to get it done oh. in these next couple of minutes here. That it does not bode well for Jody Threat. Again, I like the decision by Lars Fredrickson. This is not personal. A 10 minute challenge, it's about the competition, it's about a final test, learning what your partner is best at. Down to two here, and Danny Luna does have to entertain the possibility of taking this via count out, as I just mentioned, the standard rules of a wrestling match, but it's a 10 minute limit. Oh, it is her tag partner, though. You did hear her very deliberately ask threat. Is she okay? You know, not, not lightly count taking seven, this count out, that's count for sure. Seven, threat does make it back in between the ropes, breaks the plane of the ropes, the 10 count broken. And now, looking to bring Danny Luna outside. God, Luna resisting. Threat does as well. Oh, now, look out. Oh, oh. Dangling here over the top oh. row. And that was Luna to the floor. Threat got enough of Danny Luna, and it's Luna on the outside here inside the 2300 arena. And again, just when one has the advantage, the other seems to find a way to turn it around. Illustrating just how evenly matched these two are. Both back up onto the apron, boot right to the face. Dangerous territory out here. Oh, God. Clock is ticking. These two have to hurry if we're gonna have a decisive winner. Oh, and there goes Luna to the inside. Jody Threat really firing up now. Threat is gonna have to press her advantage and press it quick as we tick down the final seconds of this 10 minute challenge. Going up to the top turnbuckle, Threat and Luna are gonna have to hurry. Luna up top, grabbing a hold of Jody oh, Threat. Out. Going high risk and a superplex to Liver. Oh, 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 not done yet! Luna holds on, Falcon Arrow, cover! Oh, and a kick out by Threat. What a sequence by Danny Luna. But Luna and Threat have to hurry. We're into the final seconds of this 10 minute challenge. Both women are down. Five, four, three, two, one. And our referee Daniel Spencer has no choice but to call for the bell. The 10 minute time limit has expired. Therefore, the ref has ruled this match a draw. And the 10 minute challenge has elapsed.
They really want to test the oh, best of wait, the best. And wait, hold up! The Knockouts World Tag Team Champions from Alicia, Masha Slavovich and Alicia Edwards interrupting this match. So much for the five more minutes that the crowd here in Philadelphia wanted. The Knockouts World Tag Team Champions have spoiled the party. Thren and Luna were so evenly matched. Everyone here in Philly wanted to see five more minutes between these two. One final test for this tag team to see if they were ready to take their tag team title rematch. I don't know. The militia have just maybe shown them that they are not as ready as they think they are. And now Alicia Edwards hoppling on top of Jody Threat. And now Danny Luna trying to protect Threat. And what did I tell you? A, a, a novel idea from Lars Fredrickson. Did it just backfire in Spitfire's face? 